I'm Ryan, this is Weekend Mountain Biker, and here in the Southwest, it is really starting to heat up, prematurely I might add. So in this episode, I am gonna be talking about things you can do to get a little more enjoyment and ride safer on those hot summer rides, as well as when you shouldn't ride and when you should ride. It is already getting hot here in the Southwest. We are already having temperatures over 100 degrees. Do you live and ride where it's hot? When we start traveling again, do you plan on going somewhere that is warm or even hot? I'm gonna highlight eight things you can do to prolong your riding season and things you should do to make sure your epic ride doesn't end with an epic tragedy. I think ego is probably one of the biggest things that gets people into trouble in the heat. Don't be afraid to shorten that ride up to about 50%. You should be hydrating well before you even go on the ride, while on the ride, and I recommend at least a 100 ounce hydration pack, and continue to hydrate even after you're done riding. So something to keep in mind, with hydration comes dilution. Your body needs electrolytes and minerals and sodium, and when you drink lots and you sweat lots, those things get depleted. So you want to be sure to perhaps even use electrolyte water, but have some electrolyte tabs in your backpack so you can put like a concentrated amount of that right in your mouth and right into your system, as well as something salty, perhaps some pretzels or saltines or something. I know it's dry, but it's got a good salt content and you eat it and drink it at the same time. But you need to keep some electrolytes and some sodium on your person while you're out there riding as well. Just to balance out so you don't dilute out. That's all, back to the video. Don't overeat prior to a ride. Your body will dedicate valuable resources to digesting that food rather than to muscle function, organ function, brain function. So eat something light, something refreshing prior to the ride. Wear something that covers your head without smothering you. A lightweight, long sleeve, breathable shirt is recommended and shorts that are gonna go at least down to your knees while you're riding. In areas as hot and sunny as Arizona, they recommend at least a waterproof 30 SPF sunblock, but preferably 50 SPF or higher when you're gonna be exposed to the sun for any length of time. So this is one of those things that is commonly overlooked when it comes to a hot weather ride. Be sure that your phone is fully charged prior to your ride. Be sure that your battery saver is turned off. Then turn your phone off prior to your ride. I know you're like, why would you turn off the, the battery saver and turn your phone off? This is why. In the event of an emergency, you have to have your battery saver turned off in order for your GPS locating services to operate. In order for emergency services to ping your phone and to come get you and know exactly where you're at, they have to be able to access the GPS, which would be turned off if your battery saver is on. If your phone is on and the battery saver is not on, in hot weather, it's very likely your phone will overheat. When I was out filming some of this stuff, it wasn't even 100 degrees, and my phone tried to turn off twice. An overheated phone is more like a paperweight and will do you no good. So if you want to track your ride, use some other form of tracking, like a, a Garmin or something else. But save your phone 
for the emergency phone call, just in case it's needed. This is another benefit to having a large reservoir backpack. You can fill it with ice and then put the water in and even as the ice melts you'll have plenty of water in there but it helps keep the water cool, keep your back cool and that's just plain refreshing. Try to plan ahead for your rides. I love these cool tie things, and they come in all kinds of styles and colors and patterns. This one here is like a big chamois, and by soaking it overnight and then putting it in the refrigerator, this thing's freezing cold, and you can put it on when you start to feel the heat really bearing down on you, and it'll keep you cool for probably a good 45 minutes, 35 minutes if you're riding fast. So when is the best time of day to ride? Well, the hottest part of the day, which is from about noon till 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. is not the best time of day to ride. Early in the morning, the sun comes up at about 4 to 4.30. That's a, a little after that is a great time to get on the trail. You might get to see some wildlife out there. Keep in mind you were just sleeping, so your body's gonna be a little bit lacking on hydration and it is going to be a little more humid in the morning, so take that into consideration. In the evenings, you're going to be a little more hydrated, but if you have a physical job during the day, you might be a little bit uh, worn out from your job, and that exhaustion could play a role, but going for an evening ride can be just as beautiful, especially if you're able to catch that evening sunset. So this part is no joke. I've lived in Arizona for some 36 years. I have had heat stroke, I would say at least twice. In the list of items, if you get down to the third item, if you start feeling, maybe it was number four. Yeah, four. Cramping and nausea, you are toast. So if you start to experience one, two, or three, you need to stop what you're doing, find a cool shady spot, if at all possible, and hang out there until you feel a lot better. If it gets to that fourth item where you start feeling nauseous, 
you need to immediately call for help because it's only moments after that that you start throwing up and at that point you can't move I was hiking out of the Grand Canyon one time and it was about a hundred and something degrees once I started throwing up I was done without help I wouldn't have gone the last mile out of the canyon and that's all it was was a mile and I couldn't move I was going in and out of consciousness and if you're exposed and there's nobody there to help you that could be the end so if you start experiencing those first three items please take it seriously and cool down number four call for help I hope that this video was beneficial to you if you're gonna be riding here in Arizona or in the southwest where it gets really hot and you want to have fun out there and be safe Take this stuff to heart, actually apply it. If this content's useful, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications icon, and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Safe riding out there. And remember, as with all my stuff, it's about staying healthy and having fun doing it.